Hey, Paddy here, and in this video I'm going to share with you 30 plus KDP low content book publishing tools and resources for self-publishers. So, welcome back to Stacking Profits. My name's Paddy, and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow, and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you 30 plus KDP low content book publishing tools and resources. So, the first one that I'm going to share is Creative Fabrica. Now, I've put Creative Fabrica in the interiors section, but they actually have so much more. Creative Fabrica is my go-to software or website to get everything that I need for my books. With Creative Fabrica, we can get fonts. So if we go here, there's lots of different fonts that we can check out. I can get all of my graphics as well. And then also they do KDP interiors. Now with Creative Fabrica, I do have a $1.30 day free trial. If you want to check this out, there will be a link down in the description. If you have a membership, you can come in and download stuff at no extra cost. Now, with all these that I'm about to share, I'm only going to spend a couple of minutes on each one, because again, I have 30 tools and resources which I want to share. First one is obviously going to be Creative Fabrica. Again, this is just more than interiors. Second place to get interiors, and that is Tangent Templates. Tangent Templates is one of the best tools that you can get if you're starting a low content book publishing business. If we go in, we can see they have lots of different interiors. Lots of great interiors as well. But again, they're actually so much more than interiors. But this is my second place. This is for interiors, and that is Tangent Templates. So you've more than likely heard of those two websites. Third one being Pixel Pod Studio. Now, at any point you want to check out any of these websites, these resources, these tools, I will link all of them down in the description below, just so it's a little bit easier for you to check out. Now, Pixel Pod Studio is not something that I've used myself, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. If we go to the front page, you can have a little read about it. It's all done with Adobe InDesign and you can customize all of these interiors. If we go to subscribe just here, we can see Pixel Pod Studio KDP interior subscription. You will receive 10 interiors every month that comes out to just under $1 per interior. So that's pretty crazy. Then if it's if that's not enough, check out everything else included. So you have access to 200 interiors, 10 ready to upload KDP interiors, including the InDesign files, the Infinity Publisher, and all of that good stuff, 50 transparent PNG custom line drawings, monthly keyword list, Facebook group, design tutorials, and so much more. So Pixel Pod Studio is just another great resource for getting your interiors. Next one is BookBolt, and not just BookBolt, but their interior generator. Now, again, I am going to leave links for these down in the description, so you can go through and take a look. But here, all of these interiors are free. Now, let's go back to here, because Creative Fabrica is a membership. You can pay for the membership and download stuff at no extra cost, so this is paid. They do actually have a freebie section just here. Tangent Templates is also paid. I believe it's around $59. Pixel Pod Studio, again, another paid website, but with BookBolt, the interior generator just here is completely free. Now, if you do have a membership with BookBolt, you get extra interiors, as we can see just here, but you do get a lot of great free ones. So again, I am going to link this down in the description, but that's the fourth. The fifth for interiors that I want to share is BookBird. You can get here by going to bookbird.io and then come over to the home page, have a little read, or you can come straight over to the templates. We can look at the low content books, coloring books, and again, they actually have free templates. So come through, take a look. If we take a look at the low content books, you can come through, have a little read of this. 
Let's just scroll through. Easy customization. So you get all of these different files for the interiors. But again, just another great resource to get interiors for your low content books. So that's all of the interior websites that I wanted to share. Come through, check them out. Now, the next one, which are graphics. Now, there's multiple different places that you can get graphics online. One of my favorites, again, being Creative Fabrica. But you can also use Vecteasy. And with Vecteasy, they have lots of great graphics. You can get vectors, videos, photos, and lots of great stuff. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, there's one thing that you should always do. If you plan on using any websites for your graphics or interiors or anything to create your books, that is always come through and read their licensing agreement so you know what you can and you can't do. If you scroll right down to the bottom, you can come through and read it there. But again, Vecteasy, really great resource for getting your graphics. Another great resource is Pixabay. Now, you have to be careful with Pixabay because there's a lot of people uploading images and graphics and stuff that they really should not be uploading because they don't own but it's pretty simple to navigate through the website to find the graphics that you can use now even with canva canva actually pulled quite a lot of their free graphics from pixabay but i love pixabay this is the main website that i used when i first started low content book publishing now again with any graphic websites that you use always come through and read their licensing agreement because every website that you use will have its own. But when you're on here, you can come through, you can check out their photos, their illustrations, their vectors, their videos, their music, their sound effects as well. Their illustrations, if we come through, we can take a look. You can see what type of graphics and images and stuff that you can use in your book to see if you can get some ideas. But Pixabay, completely free. Vecteasy, I believe you can use this for free and they do also have their pricing as well, which is quite reasonable. And then the third graphics website that I want to share, which you've probably never actually heard of, and that is Noun Project or The Noun Project. So if you're creating planners, interiors, or things of that nature, logbooks, trackers, you're going to need some type of icons. And these icons here are absolutely perfect. And there's over 3 million, as we can see just here. Now, again, with any graphics website that you use, always come through, go down to the bottom, try and find their licensing agreement and have a little read. Now, with the Noun Project, I absolutely love this website because you can find icons for literally anything that you want. So let's type something in. Let's type in notebook and see what comes up, any type of graphics. Now from here, just for notebook, we can see that there's over 12,000 results just for notebooks. Look at this, some of these are really cool. I also like to use these types of icons from here in my logos. So this again is just another great resource. Now if we click on one of these, now, I'll just pause the video so I could log in really quick. But now, if we click on this and click Get This Icon, we can see the pricing. So, with the Noun Project Pro, their subscription is only $40 per year. Monthly, it's $9.99. Or you can purchase the icons individually. So, you can purchase Single Pro Download or the basic download. The basic download is completely free and you can use that, but it's going to have the creator's name on that image. To bypass that, just spend $2.99 on the graphic that you want. And if we look here, it's royalty free licensing. So any graphic here on the noun project or any icon you can use in your book. So again, this is just a really great resource. So that's all the graphic resources which I wanted to share. Again, all these links are going to be down in the description, so come through and check them out. Now, the next section is designing. We need somewhere to design our books. Now, with me, personally, I use Canva. 
Why Canva? Because it's relatively easy, it's all drag and drop, and I just absolutely love it. Now you can use the free version or the paid version. With the free version you can still do a lot of stuff, that's how I started out, but with the pro version you get a lot of great features. Now at any point you want to check out a 30 day free trial, there will be a link down in the description below to come through and check out. Now with the paid version of Canva you can actually create lots of folders. With these folders you can organize your graphics and all of that good stuff and they just have a lot of great features. Again when it comes to designing my go-to tool is Canva but that may not be yours so you may want to check out some other softwares. Again mine's Canva Another reason why I love it because it's all in the cloud, which means there's nothing local to my device. So if something happened to my laptop and I could not access anything, all I need is my login details to Canva and I'm good to go. So my first resource for designing is obviously going to be Canva. The second one is going to be Adobe Illustrator. Now with Adobe Illustrator, there's quite a lot to learn, especially if you're brand new. It's nothing like Canva. Canva is kind of like Photoshop for dummies because it's so simple to use. But with Adobe Illustrator, there is going to be a little bit of a curve, a uh, learning curve. But again, you're going to be able to make some really nice books with Illustrator. And then the second one is Affinity Publisher. And then the third one is going to be InDesign. So with these three, that's InDesign, Affinity Publisher, and Illustrator, there's going to be a massive learning curve. But these are the go-to tools for creating everything about your books. So come through, check them out as well. So that's the design tools or resources that I wanted to share. The next one is all about researching. Researching tools and extensions, websites, and all of that good stuff. Now I've got a fair few to share here, so we're going to whiz them, whiz through them pretty quick. Now the first one being KD Spy. And with KD Spy, you can do a lot. You can do your competitor research, keywords, book tracking, revenue estimates, and more, all at your fingertips. Now, with KD Spy, I don't personally use this myself. I think I do actually have the software, but again, it's just something that I don't use. The main tool that I use is in the list, which I'm about to share, and you'll find out what that is further on in the video. But KD Spy, great tool, has a lot of great tools within the software. So that's the first one, KD Spy. Next one being BookBeam. And BookBeam is an amazing tool. Now I don't personally use this myself anymore because I use a different software, but I was using this and I was relatively happy and pleased with what the software does. Now if we scroll down, we can see through the page, we can see increase your book sales, stay ahead of competitors and save your time. You can keep close track of your books and spy on your competitors. You can get dozens of best-selling niches at your fingertips. You can discover the hottest niches and the best keywords at a click of a button. And again, it's just an all-round really great tool and they have some really great features. So come through, check out BookBeam. Next one is BookBolt. Yes, I spoke about BookBolt near the beginning. That was just for the interiors, free interiors at that. But BookBolt is so much more. Now I do actually have a BookBolt account. I don't use it that very often because again I use another tool but BookBolt is really awesome. If we scroll down they actually have a drag and drop cover and interior designer within the software where you can create unique books in minutes which is actually a pretty great software as well. If we take a look through, we can see all of the features. Again, I'm not going to go through everything because I don't want this video to be mega long and it's already at 15 minutes and we have so much more to cover. But again, just another great tool. Come through, check it out. And that is BookBolt. Now, the next one is Publisher Rocket. Again, another tool that I don't really use myself, but there's some really great reviews and really nice things said about this tool. Publisher, oh, let's get rid of that. 
Publisher Rocket, I believe, is one of the oldest tools out there for Amazon. So come through, check this out. Now, one thing I must note, and that is all of these tools basically do the same thing. And because of that, I highly recommend just coming through, checking out all of the different softwares, trying them out and finding one that you personally like. Then once you've found one that you like, just stick with that and keep using that for your research. Again, there's so many different tools out there, so just find one that you like, stick to that and use that. You can check out KD Spy, BookBean, BookBolt, Publisher Rocket, and then also my favorite, which is Helium 10. Now with Helium 10, I do also have a discount down below. If you want to check it out, you can get 50% off your first month when you use code STACKINPROFIT50 or 10% off every month when you use code STACKINPROFIT10. So if you want to check out Helium 10, come through, click the link down in the description and see what you think. Now, personally, I love Helium 10 because of two main tools. If we go ahead and log in, we can go to my favorite tools. So the first one being Cerebro. Now with Cerebro, you can put in an ASIN of any product over on Amazon. Obviously, I tend to do books. So you can take the ASIN of any book, plug it in here, and it's going to give you all of the keywords that is associated with that book. So this is very, very important data. Then they also have this magnet tool, which I absolutely love. You can put any keyword in here, and it will give you all of the data for that keyword. Now I have done videos on this in the past, and if you're still around watching this video, I'll link it right there in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch to see how Helium 10 actually works. But again, it's just a really great tool. So come through, check that out. The next one which I want to share for researching is self-publishing titans. You can get here by going to selfpublishingtitans.com and you can download their free Chrome extensions. So if we scroll all the way down to here, we can see them. Best free K KDP research tools. And this one just here, number one Amazon Keywords Suggestion Expander. Now, these two tools alone will help you with your research. Now, again, I believe I have done videos on this in the past as well. So what I'm going to do is link them as well in the right hand corner. But these two tools are very, very important. They're free and important because it's going to help you find better keywords for your books. Now, these two tools bring me on to my next two tools, which is AMS Suggestion Expander. And if you Google AMS Suggestion Expander, it's going to be this first one just here. You can come through and then you can install just here. I've got mine disabled because if we go back to self publishing Titans, I've been using their one. So this and AMS Suggestion Expander are very, very similar, but they're both great tools. Now the next one that I want to share is DS Amazon Quick View. So again, if you come over to Google and type that in like this, it's going to be this first one just here, then come through, add it to Chrome. And then with this tool, it's going to tell you the BSRs of the books on the front page. So this is very important in making things, your processes, a hell of a lot faster. But again, just a really great tool. So come through and check this one out as well. So that's all of the research tools and resources which I wanted to share. The next one is all book reporting softwares. And I have a few different ones which I want to share with you. First one being my favorite, and that is Get Book Report. Now, if we scroll down, we can see the sales page for it. And if we scroll down here, we can see it's completely free for everyone for the first two weeks. Then it's still free for everyone earning less than $1,000 per month. And then if you start creating more than $1,000 per month, it's going to cost you $19. Now, this is my favorite go-to software just because I've been using it so long. If we take a look here, this is my reporting software. In fact, 
let's just go ahead and refresh the page on this so we can see what it looks like. This is my go-to one just because I've been using it for so long. If we check here, we can see my reportings for all of my books since I've started and how much I've made. And then scrolling through the page, you're going to get a lot more data. So come through, check out Get Book Report, or the next one you can check out is KDP Champ. Now, this is one that has been on my radar for a while, but I just haven't got round to using it. You can monitor your KDP net profits from all regions in one place. If we scroll down, we can see all of the features as well and the pricing. So come through, check out this one. Then the third one is AK Report. Now I used to use this tool when I first started, but because I had a lot of books, I had a lot of problems. It couldn't give me all the right reporting just because I had so many books. If that would have been fixed and I wouldn't have had any issues with this, then I'd be I'd still carry on using this software just because I thought it was absolutely awesome but because the amount of books that I have it couldn't handle it so I had some issues but again you should come through and check it out because it's a really great software and that is AK Report. Now that's all of the reporting softwares which I also wanted to share which brings me on to my last section of this video which is extra resources. So let's finish up the video and start going through these. First one being ilovepdf.com. Now I mainly use this for merging PDFs. So if we go to here, we can see that just there. If we click on here, we can add a few different types of PDFs and then merge them together. So with Canva, you can only create 100 pages. If you wanted to create a book which was 150 pages, you'd have to create them separately and then you just merge them together using this website. Now, this website brings me on to my next website, which is called Tiny Wow. And you can get here by going to tinywow.com. Now, this is very similar to I Love PDF, but you don't need an account, you don't need to sign up, and everything on here is just completely free. You have PDF to JPEG, Merge PDF, the main one that I like, Unlock PDF, Split PDF, Remove Background, and they just have lots of great resources. So come through and check out Tiny Wow. The next resource is Color Hunt. So you can get here by going to colorhunt.co, and you can browse around to try and find color combinations for your books. Because when it comes to your books, your fonts play a huge role, but so does your color combinations. If you don't have colors that complement each other, your books aren't going to look very good. So by using colorhunt.co, you can find some really great combinations. So come through and check this one out. Now this brings me on to my next resource, which is some type of color picker color picker chrome extension now with me when i'm online searching around i sometimes find colors which i really like and by using some type of color picker extension i can get the hex code for that color and use it on my book so if i click on here i can then use this extension i actually have two so the other one i have just here is color Zilla, I believe, just here. If I click on this one, I can then use this as well and just use the color picker to get the hex code of any color that I like. So again, this is just another great resource. Next one being Todoist. So I recently did a video all about this. I'm going to link that as well in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch. All this is is a Chrome extension. It's a to-do list in Chrome extension form. If we click up here, this is where I have it. I plug in all my to-do lists or all of my to-dos for my business into here. And then once I've done them, I'll go through and click them off. So right now I'm creating a video and I've got to create an email. Once I've done that, I'll tick that off. But this is one of my favorite business tools out there. So come through, check out the video which I recently did and also check this out as well because this is completely free and it helps me stay more productive. Now, the next one I want to share with you is 
AMS RAM. So this is a little Chrome extension which I have just up here. With this, what we can do, in fact, let's go over to here so we can read a little bit of this. AMS RAM Keyword Rank Checker. You can watch the video to see how it works. But if you click on here, let's go over to Amazon just here. If we scroll through, we can get the ASIN. We can click on the ASIN and copy it. Then if we go to the extension just here, plug that in, and then click get location, it's going to tell you where that book is ranked. Now for this instance, it's only number three. So we might want to do coloring book for kids, and then you get your ASIN, you plug it in, the extension just here, get location, and it's going to tell you where you're ranked. So it's just a really great tool. Now, the next one, which I want to share with you, is a URL shortener. So this is the one that I use. This is called just URL shortener, offered by timelander.com. With this, this is again another extension. If we click just here, in fact, let's go back to Amazon, and now click on it, I can get the URL, a shortened URL, for this link just here. Now, why is this important? Well, it's a lot easier using a URL shortener when you're doing your research. If you're doing research for quotes, your books, or anything, and you come across web pages online which you want to save, you can simply use a URL shortener like this, copy this link, and then this link's going to take me to this one. So again, a URL shortener is just very, very handy to have. Next tool is tckpublishing.com and their BSR sales calculator. Now, if we scroll down to here, here it is. With this, we can put in the BSR of a book. We can check book as well click calculate sales and it's going to tell you an estimate of how many books those or how many books that that is selling from that bsr so if you have a bsr of around about a thousand you can expect to make over two thousand plus sales per month with about 147 plus per day again just another great resource to have Next resource is Book Owl. Now with this, this is going to give you everything that you need for formatting your books, and it's completely free. Now the main people, or the main reason why people use this website is to get your KDP cover template generator. So if we click on here, from here we can choose paperback or hardcover. You can put the weight just here, so 8.5 times 11. You can do your page count, paper type and then it's going to tell you the dimensions and everything that you need so just a really great resource to have in your arsenal now next one is duplichecker so this is duplichecker.com from here if you google duplichecker you want to come to this one just here reverse image search it's going to pull up this page just here and from here is where you can check your graphics so if you actually purchase or outsource your illustrations, your books, or anything like that. Well, not necessarily your books, but your graphics. You can check it on here to see if there's a duplicate online. Very, very important if you're using new illustrations or new illustrators. So come through, check out this as well, and that is DupliChecker. Now, that's everything that I wanted to share. 30 plus resources, tools, and all of that good stuff for low content book publishers. Now, key points, there's a lot of tools out there. You do not need all of these tools, especially with all these research tools. They all practically do the same thing. Apart from Helium 10. Helium 10 just seems to blow everything else out of the water. Main reason being is because of this Cerebro that they have just here where you can do your reverse ASIN checks. So out of all of the reverse, no, out of all of the research tools, Helium 10 is my favourite. But again, come through, check out all of these tools. There is links down in the description below. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.